I bought a book in 2010 at, uh, at a woodworking store, which I was a woodworker, called Fancy Knives, and written by a couple of European knife makers. And I was fascinated. And at the very end, they show you how to make a knife. I bought the book, went on to some forums, bought some of the basic knife making books, built a forge, mm -hmm. and started uh, making fixed blade knives with the idea at some point I wanted to make folding knives. Initially I started with a magnifying lens and then I have added an air engraver. It allows you to shade, uh, you know, naturally, almost like drawing. I buy all of the materials in uh, bar stock form. Uh, I develop my own patterns, you know, with a light box and um, I'm self-taught until we get to automatic opening knives. And then I was fortunate enough to find someone who taught me. This is what I would call a, a mid-release. Uh, all uh, automatics work on, the, on a principle of a, a lock bar with a little tooth on the end that fits into a groove when it's open and fits into a groove when it's closed. There's a coil spring in here that's countersunk between uh, the frame and the bolster on this side and the knife on this side. And then there is a, what I would call a, a tempered spring or a leaf spring that is constantly forcing the lock into the closed position. And then when you press down on this small indentation, it releases the knife and the, the coil spring springs into action. On some of these, I'll do the file work on the liners as well. That one I did, for instance, you know, this one I did not. Each liner, it takes me about two hours to do the file work on. So there's four hours just in the file work in the liner. I've gotten pretty quick. And of course, the more you do, the faster you become. And for me, the secret is, is the spacing of it. Mm -hmm. it's got, you got to be as accurate as you can. And that one came out really nice. Thank you. You don't want it sloppy, of course, but you don't want it to look machine made either. Right. You're trying to achieve some kind of a balance in there. And of course, the more perfect I can get it, you know, I'm more satisfied with that. 